My fellow Americans, tonight I want to talk to you about Syria, why it matters, and where we go from here. This is Linda, and I want everyone to do this. I'm going to do this really quick. I don't want a war with Syria or anybody else. I'm tired of the blood. So everybody add your no war, not in my name, to this. Remix it, share it, spread it. If you don't want your face seen, hold it up like this. Just everybody add yours to my clip. Let's see how viral we can make this. Dear government, we don't give our consent for this war. Peace, love, truth. Linda's out. No more death. No more destruction. No more bloodshed. No more lies. No more injustice. No more terror. No more. No more hate. No more tyrants. No more sending our family overseas to fight in endless wars. No more death of loved ones. We are change. Speak out now. My name is Johnny Black. No more wars. Not in my name. Le no de ne wa. In my native language, that means no war. And I'm from the Iroquois Confederacy. And we started this just with a hope that it may go viral. Me and Joy did. And I am Linda, or as my family called me, Little Bear. So I just want to thank everybody. And no war in my name ever, ever, ever. And I love all of you. Peace, love, and truth. Linda's Hi, it's Joy. I'm awake. Are you? Not in my name. No war. Not with my money. I do not consent. No war in my name. And may your voice come through instead of the voice of death. Bless you all. No war in my name or any of my clan's name. Hey, this is Six Gator Nation. We're sick of the wars and we are sick of the lies. Bring my cousin and my nephew home. No war, not in our name. No war, not in our name. No more war. We've had it. Over a million people dead in Iraq. No more war. None. We're not having it. Hi, it's August 30th, 2013. My name is Kim. I live in Maryland, United States of America. I say no more war. Not in my name. Enough.
On our name, no more killing of the innocent men, women, and children. Not in our name. No more war in our name. No more war. Not in our name. I say no to war. Not in my name. No. No war. Not in my name. I'm from Canada, and I say, no war in my name. Spread love, peace, and life. Stop the bloodshed, stop the pain, stop the death. You think I'm joking? No more war, not in our name. Thanks to people speaking out about the war and saying no. This, however, having said that on the whole, the powers that be are not listening to the people, but I don't think that's any reason not to speak out. And so I'm going to do so, and I'm going to add my voice to all of yours when I say no war. Not now, not ever, not in my name, and not in my family's name, period. That's it. No. No war, not in my name. I am Carlos. No queremos guerra. No quiero guerra en mi nombre. Gracias. Believe less and think more. I'm inspired by all of you out there making the No War In My Name videos and uh, <clears throat> I had to be part of it. But I really don't know what to say. And that's why I don't know how to tackle this subject. And what do you say about a civilization that bases its success on greed and then turns that greed into religious purpose or otherwise or national security and fools its own people into thinking that it needs to go fight a country because of chemical weapons used on its people in Syria. Have we been through this before? I seem to remember recent times when we were told chemical weapons were in other places or said that we had other reasons for going into places. I don't know if it'll ever change, but all I can say is no war in my name. I will not be part of it, and I refuse to stand for it, because I have yet to see any wars in my lifetime that were ever fought on a valid premise within reason. Namaste. Just stop the killing. Just stop the killing now. No more war. Not in my name. Not in these people's names. Not in anyone's name. Right, well I'm Ralph and I just represent the people of Scotland that are caring about what's happening in Syria just now. I think it's really wrong. I don't think the vote against Cameron the other day is enough. We need more than that. There's a nice turnout considering the short space of time this was organised and hopefully we can do something about this. We have to get this stopped and now.
You guys like to do things backwards, like to playing the music backwards. Raruma, he's not his street rat, 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 No more war. Not my name. That was my tax dollar. Right? Got that? Who said everyone? No war in my name. Hey, it's Eagle 1023 here. No war, not my name. Be the peace that you wish to see. Remember when you said that, President Obama, on the campaign trail years ago? Be the peace you wish to see. No war, not in my name and not with my tax dollars. Imagine if we took our money and we spent it productively instead of destructively. There's no reason whatsoever for us to kill more innocent lives, to take lives. It's time, people. It's time to step up. It's time to represent. We can do this. We are the collective consciousness. Let's put an end to this madness. Speak up. Be loud and proud. Let your voice be heard. You can do this. Just one sign.
peace is what we need. No war. God bless. Stream Patriot out. No war. Not in my name. No war, not in my name. No war. No war, not in my name. Hey, Congress. First word in Congress is con. Read my lips. No war with Syria. No wars at all in my name without permission. The people of the United States should have a say. And you clowns in the district of criminals, at, at the stroke of a pen, bombard. At the stroke of a pen, nuke. At the stroke of a pen, walk in on other countries and take them over, put in your own puppet regimes, this nonsense has got to stop. All you clowns in high places that are causing us trouble, it's inconceivable, preposterous, insane, and if enough people could get together, we'd like to fire your asses. People that, that vote need to take into account that uh, when they're looking at the ballot, scratch out whoever has a name there, because there are no suitable candidates. Scratch out who's ever there, and down at the bottom, put no suitable candidate. I'm ashamed to be an American. What more can be said other than just showing my face and showing my disdain? I'm disgusted, frustrated. Everyone on earth that has a mind and a heart should be outraged. Anyway, I don't want to waste too much valuable time. What's time, anyway? Time's just like your rules and laws, a construct of man. I can see days, I can see seasons, but when it starts getting down to split seconds, just more and more complication in a world that was was fairly perfect until mankind polluted it. Now we're polluting it with political rhetoric. No more wars, you pricks. Not in my name, anyway. I'm done. You know, not in my name. See, it's becoming very apparent and clear that the reason why you congressmen don't care about us going into another war is because you or none of your family members have to go and die in any of these wars. Think about it. When was the last time you seen a congressman draping an American flag over a casket? I, I don't remember ever seeing that. No war. Not in my name. Not in our name. Here. This has to be done. Send their kids to war. Leave ours alone. So, this is for the Prime Minister. It has been over 10 years. The Liberals put our soldiers in Afghanistan, and you have been negotiating over and over again to extend a contractual war where our soldiers are in a foreign country. 
three opposition party three parties in total in the house changing seats well over a decade now or just over a decade and not one word as it got extended again and again and again harpy you can't be trusted with the use of our soldiers you cannot be trusted with foreign policy you cannot be trusted to dispatch our soldiers so from here on out harpy it's going to be a two-thirds majority referendum vote to use our soldiers anywhere but here if they're going to be dispatched someplace with the intent or the idea of the intent of murdering other people the only authorization that will be lawfully acceptable from here on out is a two-thirds civil majority referendum put to the Canadian people whose people it will be committed to the war whose dollars it will be who will have to take care of those soldiers when they come back all fucked up in the head because we asked them to do insane things no more war harpy no more I'm not excluding you for all times and forever no 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 I'm just saying no more war harpy no more war there it is no more war harpy and we are all very very pleased that you've stayed out from underneath that German Queen's skirt keep it up Harvey no war not in my name I do not consent peace no longer will I be manipulated by your paid-off media no longer will I believe that the wars that you have started have anything to do with my freedom. No longer will I support your agenda. No longer will I line the pockets of the rich and the elite. No longer will I support the killing of innocent women and children and men. And the only reason that these wars are happening has nothing to do with freedom. It's all about power. It's all about control. It's all about greed. We're waking up and we're tired. We're tired of our poor sisters and brothers dying for you so you can become more powerful and more corrupt and more evil. No longer. No war. In government, no to war in Syria. Hello people, I'm Jim Shepard, I live in Indiana, and all this stuff going on in Syria, and everything else, we have no business fighting anybody, and I say, no war in my name, not in the name of God, not in the name of me, not in the name of my country, not on my time. No war in my name. I want to say a few words about uh, the situation in Syria. Uh, as you've seen, uh, today we've released our unclassified assessment, uh, detailing with high confidence that the Syrian regime carried out a chemical weapons attack that killed uh, well over a thousand people, including hundreds of children. Uh, this follows the horrific images that shocked us all. This kind of attack is a challenge to the world. We cannot accept a world where women and children uh, and innocent civilians are gassed on a terrible scale. Bushmaster 7, Roger. This is Bushmaster 7, Roger. Engage. 1-8, engage. Clear. Come on. Clear. 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 This kind of attack threatens our national security interests uh, by violating uh, well-established international norms against the use of chemical weapons, uh, by further threatening friends and allies uh, of ours in the region like Israel and Turkey and Jordan, uh, and it increases the risk that chemical weapons 
uh, will be used in the future and fall into the hands of terrorists who might use them against us. Uh, so uh, I have said before, uh, and I meant what I said, that uh, the, the world has an obligation to make sure that we maintain the norm against the use of chemical weapons. Now, I have not made a final decision uh, about uh, various actions that might be taken to help enforce their norm. Uh, but uh, as I've already said, uh, I have had my military uh, and our team look at a wide range of options. Uh, we have consulted with uh, allies, we've consulted with Congress, uh, we've uh, been in conversations uh, with uh, all the interested parties, and uh, in no event are we considering uh, any kind of military action that would involve boots on the ground, uh, that would involve a long-term campaign, uh, but we are looking at the possibility of a limited, uh, narrow, uh, act that would help make sure that uh, not only Syria but others around the world uh, understand that uh, the international community cares about maintaining this chemical weapons uh, ban and norm. Uh, but again, I repeat, uh, we're not considering any open-ended uh, commitment. We're not considering any boots on the ground approach. Uh, what we will do is consider uh, options that uh, meet the narrow concern around chemical weapons. Uh, understanding that there's not going to be uh, a solely military solution to the underlying conflict and tragedy uh, that's taking place in Syria. Uh, and I will continue to consult closely with Congress uh, in addition to the release of the uh, unclassified document. Uh, we are providing a classified briefing to uh, congressional staffs today uh, and will offer uh, that same classified briefing uh, to members of Congress, uh, as well as our international partners. And I will continue uh, to provide updates uh, to the American people as uh, we uh, get more information. This is Chris, YouTube channel Human Rights to You, chiming in in solidarity with you and all of you with great thanks in my heart. And no war in my name, in our name. We stand for peace, truth, and with zero tolerance for the lie. I ask you to meet me where I stand, and my heart says, no war, not in my name. No war, not in our name. We stand in solidarity with Syria and the Syrian people, and that I do not believe that Bashar Assad is to blame for this so-called, what you call atrocity, arbitrarily, of use of chemical weapons. Too many factors here, too many loose ends, and I ask you to stand down the U.S. military, the President of the United States, the Secretary of State, Secretary of Defense, and all you who are hawking for war. This is not acceptable. No war, not in my name, no war, not in our name. No more war, not in my name. Hey everybody, it's Rose. I just want to say... No war, not in my name. I love you everyone.
Hi, my name is Jill Ballard. I'm from Solvang, California. I was born in Seattle, Washington, and I've been a U.S. resident my entire life. My video today is so that I can say to you, no war in my name. And I'm a woman of peace. No war, not in my name. My name is Jessica. I'm from Ireland. I am against war with Syria. I'm against war with any nation. I'm against all the bloodshed and the killing, senseless killing. No war. Not in my name. Not ever. Peace. War is a racket. Government is a scam. No more wars in my name. Bombing innocence is BS. It needs to stop. Stop. President Obama, no war, not in my name. I am Kevin Allen, 43 years old, American citizen. Obama, I do not consent, first of all, to you being the president of this nation. You are not. I do not consent to your illegal wars and killing people in my name. I will not comply with any of your written laws, and you will not shed blood on my children's dime. You do not have my consent. I'm Isaac Allen. I'm 12. I refuse me and my if I have children, will refuse to pay for your illegal war, Obama. My name is Zachary Allen. I'm 14 years old, and I refuse to pay this illegal war that's going to kill a lot of people. My name is Joseph Allen, and I'm 13, and I refuse to pay for your illegal war. It's stupid as hell. Hello, YouTube. This is the, uh, you know, no war, not in my name video. Uh, I am Kurt Treichel. This is a um, video about war, specifically Syria. And if, you know, anybody who's been paying attention to the news, you know that, you know, 90% of Americans don't want war, don't want to go to war in Syria. And yet, uh, every pundit, every politician, every news channel, all we hear is we must take action now, you know. And it's, it's against our will. I don't want it in my name, not with my tax dollars. No war. No, no war. In our names. In, in our names. Only love. Only love. In Father's name. In Father's name. name. Good job. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Say bye. Bye. Hey, everybody. Time to get loud and scream it. No war. Not in my name. Ever. Sick of this shit. Done. Capiche? No more. No war. Not in my name. No, no war. war. Not, not in, in my, my name. name. Peace. Peace. Love. <laughs> How can you look at yourself in the mirror? How can you proclaim peace when you're committing genocide? Not only, not only to other countries, but to your own people. With that said,
We don't want your war. No war in my name. No more in my father's name. Hi guys, this is the Idaho Picker. And um, no more war. Not in my name. Not in my country. Not anywhere in the world. No more corruption. No more lies. No more war. Not in my name. No more war. No, no more war. No war in Syria, yo. Not in my name. God bless. No war. Not in my name. Dear Heavenly Father, please bless this country. Keep us safe and out of harm. In Jesus' name I ask this. Amen. No war. Not in my name. No war in my name. No war. Not in my name. Bless the Lord, all oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless the Lord, all oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Bless His holy No more war. No war in Syria. Not with our tax money. Not with our country's military. No more wars. No more, no more, no more. We say not in our name. This is Money Magnet Elizabeth at YouTube. Come join in by creating your message by video or photo. Share the message. No war, not my name. God bless you all. Had to have my name, or not my name in this case. No war in my name, indeed. Easy enough to say, but uh, I'll take it a little, a little further. Now, my father name, right, my full name sort of represents my mother's side and my father's side. But when I say no war in my name, it means no war in my name or the name of my mother. The name of my father, it means no war in the name of my mother's mother. My mother's father, it means no war in the name of my father's mother and my father's father. No war in their name either. And that's going back. So when I say no war in my name, I mean there's a lot of names on that petition just right there, genetically, if you look at whenever my bloodline started. You already knew I was against the next war. Not in my name, buddy. Hey guys, it's Dooley here. You know how they, everybody's uh, hanging, putting them signs up? Uh, uh, Linda, I think, is the one who got it started, I think. Is, uh, I think, you know, war not in my name. Well, you know what? Uh, let's go farther than that, man. You know? How about make you one up? Like that. And just go out and uh, put, it on the, put it on the back of your vehicle. Put it on the side of your vehicle. Put it on the front of your vehicle. 
Just put them on our vehicle, man. You know? That way, whoever gets behind you will see it. Let's really get it going. Let's put it on the back of the vehicle. That one's on her, ain't coming off. Let's put them all over. Hell, let's go, go to Walmart, stick them on all kinds of cars. No more war, and no war in Syria. Thank you very much. I have never supported any war, and it's very encouraging when one sees uh, military personnel laying down their weapons and questioning the reasons given to them to go to war in the first place, which are usually a bunch of lies. 99% of the time in my experience. No war in my room. No war in my name. No war. Hey folks, this is to, just to let you know, I'm an Oath Keeper. I swore to defend and uphold the Constitution. And I'm saying no war. Not in our names. Not in mine. Not in my family. Not in my friends. Peace. My name is Carrie, and I live on the Central Coast in California, and no war, not in my name. Peace, love, wisdom, and life in Father's name. Blessings to you all. No war, not in my name. No war, not in anybody's name. Watch an innocent man to fight another country's war. We have enough problems in our own country. I definitely do not consent to our troops being in any part of the world, let alone Syria. So, Mr. Obama, you don't have my support. Thank you.
This is Rose Marie, and I'm making this video to add my name to um, many others who are taking a stand against going into Syria. And this is the only way to voice, you know, my opposition to this action on the part of this government. So I stand against any any um, military action. Um, in Syria, in, in against the Syrian government and the Syrian people, and especially against Damascus. And my heart and prayers are with all the um, innocent people there who who have no uh, say in the matter either. Um, my prayer is that you know all will make it to safety, especially brothers and sisters who live there. My heart and my prayers are with you. I pray for your safety. All right, hey there. This is Sutter G coming at you all the way from Aotearoa down under in New Zealand. That's a big fat no to war in my name. No way. Big fat yes, love and peace. Eight shall not kill eight. Take care, out of here. Hello America, Skystreak with ya. Are you tired of promoting wars that make profit while they take it out of your pocket? Are you tired of the corruption yet? Are you tired of the propaganda versus the media and funding both sides of the war so that we have a reason to go? Well now is your chance to stand up and say hell no, we won't go. This is Skystreak. And I promote no war, not in my name, ever. No war with Syria, not in my name. And not in my name. Or my name. Peace. Not in my name. No war, not on our word. <laughs> not on our word. No war. To my government, to my representatives, hell no. Not in my name. You will not attack Syria in my name. I may not be able to stop you, to prevent you from committing this crime, but what I can do is make it known to you and to the world that you don't operate in my name. I can and we'll make sure that the world knows that I, a once proud American, condemns your actions. I condemn your arrogance, your hypocrisy. I condemn the delusions that you seem to harbor that causes you to believe that you and your masters have some divine right or moral authority to mold the future of mankind. You have shattered my rose-colored glasses. You've robbed me of my faith in my government, in all governments of men. You have stolen my money to advance your sick agenda, but you haven't succeeded in stealing my heart or my mind. I reject your lies. You've lied to me too often. Your propaganda and your false flags, they don't work on me any longer. I used to be blissfully ignorant, and you've relieved me of that. I see you now for what you are. I understand now what and who you serve. You serve evil. You don't serve me. You don't represent me. And you will not attack Syria in my name. No war, not in my name.
truth may scare you, but I'm going to be quite honest with you people. This war can kill us all. And if no one knows yet, the chemical that they were using was fluoride. you got to watch this video. You, this is an embed. When you come to the blog, this is going to play immediately. This is new. This come out today. And you can listen to this guy. And there's a video there's videos going around. Everybody's been doing it. And I took the video last night and I added my two cents into it. And I used the video and matched me up with third party copyright. So it got deleted. But hear me, no more war. Not in my name. I'm with them 100% on that. I hope the rest of you are too. And I hope the rest of you will push the video and make your own and put it on the record for everyone. If this starts, this right here is not going to be pretty. So much love to y'all. No war, not in no war, not in my name. No war, not in my children's name. No war, not in my grandchildren's name. No war, not in my brothers and sisters name. Send them home like you were supposed to. Stop this war. Stop the bloodshed. Stop the killing. No war, not in my name. I don't consent. I don't consent to killing everybody's children, brothers, sisters. No war, not in my name. Peace. Love. Send them home like you were supposed to. Support the warrior. August 29th, 2013. No war, not in my name. Get the message out. Thank you, Linda. Let's get it rolling. Let's keep peace and harmony in the world for humanity. God bless. No war. Bye-bye, friends. Peace. My name.
My name is Tina. And my name is Sophia. And, and I'm six. And we say, no war, war not in my name. Peace. Peace war. and love. No war. I do not consent to your war. Not in my no name. No war. I don't want any people to be hurt, blood and shedding. No war. Peace and love. Not in my name. I say no to war, not in my name. No to war, uh, just because um, the very concept of bringing peace to the world through killing um, is just ridiculous. All it does is it brings uh, more hatred and more uh, division between people. Uh, we know 9-11 was a staged thing. We know that the CIA put the Al Qaeda together. So any claims that we're fighting terrorism uh, is just illogical. Sometimes you're poor, you're lonely, you're tired, you're weak. Now our motto is we will kill your poor, you're lonely, you're tired, you're weak. Say no to war. No to war, no, no to uh, more bloodshed, more, more injustice, more. No to all these things, man. The lies, end the lie. Send this message on. Add, add to it, like she said. Let's see if we can't make this thing go viral. Say no. Just say no. Love and peace. Hello, beautiful people. This is Wait for Me Too from the Cascades, and I have a message for you. Fear not. And I have a message to scums. We had enough. No more war. We had enough. No more war. Not in my name or in anybody's name. No more war. These words inspired a poem for me today. I wrote, I've just seen a lot of people do their not in my name. So here's mine. No more war. Not in my name. No more bodies to be maimed. No more tears to be cried. No more political lies. No more profit to gain. No more evil to reign. No more scars to be healed. No more torture to be doled. No more sorrow to be told. No more poisons to be sprayed. No more cops to do raids. No more children to abuse. No more people to be used. No more theft of our homes. We demand our freedom to roam. Carol. Speak. Speak. What? Let me translate that. No war. Not my name. I do not consent to war in Afghanistan or Syria or possibly Iran or any other place. Not in my name. No war. I do consent for war against Monsanto. Uh, stop all the drone strikes, all the geoengineering chemtrail agenda. But no war, not in my name. That's no war, not in my name! No war in my name. No war in my name. I do not consent. I do not condone. I soundly condemn. No war in my name. This is Miss Merchant of Doom reporting from a slavery cubicle somewhere in Southern California. I have a message to Dashboard Obama and all of his globalist psychopaths. No more war.
Not in my name. On the CDC website this morning, Center for Disease Control, not that I really trust it, but I didn't see an approved treatment for chemical weapons victims that Tomahawk missiles are an approved treatment to help chemical weapons victims recover. That is not how we're not helping any children by bombing more children. So all I'm saying is what we're out here to say is to urge President Obama no military action in Syria. We're putting our foot down now. I pray to God that America will hear this before it is too late because today we are fighting a war. I'm really out here today, um, first as a citizen, but also second, uh, I'm a poli-sci professor over at Vol State. Uh, and I feel like I really couldn't be taken legitimately in the classroom if I didn't actually make my presence felt and practice sort of what I preach. So that's kind of why I'm here today. And um, just my, my conscience tells me this is wrong. It's happening. We're still in Iraq. The war is still going on in Iraq. And your average person doesn't even know that. The average person doesn't know that there are over 120,000 military contractors still there. We have a billion dollar embassy that really is a base there, that the way that the, the people there see it, especially the people who don't want us occupying their countries anymore. We have 40 to 60,000 troops still there that they've renamed um, a support brigade. You know, they, they've, ne they've renamed them, but uh, there's still, there's still troops. They still are being killed there. So th there's still, there are still wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. And the average person doesn't really think about those anymore. With me being a military vet, I really feel like the United States, we already intervene with too many different countries. Every time something goes wrong or they feel like there's a problem, we always try to go over there and govern their government. And I think we have enough problems here at home. When you walk downtown Nashville, you can see countless numbers of people that are homeless, have signs. You know, they don't even know when they're going to get their next meal. I think we should concentrate more as a country and start worrying about the problems that we have here more at home than dealing with countries and their problems. We have enough problems here. I'm advocating that we no longer stand divided into Tea Party and Occupy and Democrats and Republicans and conservatives and liberals and blacks and whites and rich and poor and all the other collective demographics we allow to divide us. Because, We're all the same. because while we... While we ultimately just end up fighting with each other, our governments are dragging us places many just do not want to go. President Obama's message is, well, we're not going to send boots on the ground. We're going to send in missiles and we're going to arm the people there so they can solve their own conflict. But the Syrian people are going to see that as an intervention anyways. If I hand you a gun and I say, well, go kill that person, even though I physically didn't do it myself, I still gave you that power to do it. I still supported that through third party measures and it's just not good for the American people. A sixteen trillion dollar debt and war, it's it's not it's it's a recipe for disaster. First what they do is they give you foreign aid. Okay? They then then they westernize a country. Then after the country is uh, basically dependent, they begin to uh, oppress. Then whenever as everybody begins to wake up they have to villainize and call you a terrorist. And then when you don't fight back, they throw a false flag on you. Then that's justification to invade, then they occupy. The United States should take military action against Syrian regime targets. We're talking about a country that gasses its citizens, gasses its children, women, innocent victims. We're talking about a country that leads to death. They kill their citizens, they kill their children. Of course, we're talking about the United States of America. If you reference Waco, Texas in 1993, they gassed their innocent citizens. They killed their innocent citizens. So we're here to protest the intervention. What we heard just now on the megaphone was a live feed of President Obama banging the war drum. It endangers our friends and our partners along Syria's borders, including Israel, Jordan, Turkey, Lebanon, and Iraq. It could lead to escalating use of chemical weapons. It's time to really consider the fact that maybe the U.S. doesn't need to be the world's policeman that runs around the world right, trying to get involved right. in every crisis on Earth. Whether there's such a thing as a humanitarian war is another discussion, but even if there was such a way to do that, it wouldn't be authorized. I mean, the Congress could, in theory, vote for that. I would not hope they wouldn't, 
but that would be legal. If the president does this strike, it would be illegal, and I believe that the president, if he carries out this strike, should be impeached. I think this is too far, and I think uh, you might even see public support for impeachment. Doesn't this record caution us that it is not okay to ignore the Constitution, to bypass Congress, to ignore the majority of American sentiment? But well, one thing I would say is uh, tyranny, war, and terrorism cannot be won by tyranny, war, and terrorism. People have family killed, friends killed, relatives killed, and that causes blowback. Our military is a weapon of destruction, and it needs to be used only as a weapon of destruction and in places where the destruction would be morally acceptable for some reason. For example, in World War II, to go up against Hitler's army and kill uh, you know, Nazi soldiers, would be the type of thing that Americans would support. And when soldiers come home, they're going to be called a hero. And that's that's what our soldiers should be doing. To, to send our soldiers into these conflicts where, you know, there's a huge disagreement as to whether they should be there or not, they won't be treated with that same respect. So that's a, you know, it's just important, I think, to have where you can go into a country, devastate the enemy, and come home. We don't even know who did this chemical attack yet. We have stories coming out now. Uh, there was, there was a 20-year uh, veteran reporter that actually did an interview with the Syrian rebels who have a large uh, component of al-Qaeda mixed in with them who have actually taken credit for the chemical attack. And I don't even hear that on any news source except for maybe one or two. You know, we need to have debates about this. We need to have discussions, intelligent discussions. We need to actually... Um, hear more information and less emotionalism about about these uh, these situations, these potential uh, attacks that we're going to do in Syria. Um, we need to be educated about and, and informed about uh, what we're about to do, and I think the average person doesn't really know what's really going on out there. If people will start acting like they care more, or even try to get the understanding of what, of how this world works, if we had millions and millions of people coming out here really showing their support for this, America would have no choice but to listen. At this point, to me, it seems like we just need to throw our bodies on the levers and the gears that make this war machine run until we stop it. Not only for this country, but for the whole world. If it was all flipped around on us, the citizens, and I don't agree with somebody in society, and I make a war on them, and I kill their family or I kill their friends, I go to jail, I go to prison. I would just say the Obama administration, just because you have these special powers, doesn't put you above the you know, common decency of our human race. Because there's dead bodies everywhere America doesn't even seem to care It's so messed up, yeah, so messed up, yeah, yeah And we can't stop And we won't stop Can't you see it's we who own the right To a peaceful way of life And we can't stop and we won't stop until the world can see the light. There doesn't have to be a fight. Yeah, yeah. Martin Luther King said, I want to say one other thing. Challenge that we face is simply that we must find an alternative to war and bloodshed. Anyone who feels, and there are still a lot of people who feel this way, that war can solve the social problems facing mankind is sleeping through a great revolution.
America to be. The FSA is funded by America, funded by Saudi Arabia, and funded by Qatar. They are not real rebels. They are not fighting for freedom in Syria. They're fighting for America to control Syria so America to make war with Iran. It's not a good thing. Oh. Now you hear the Americans say that the Syrian government is dropping chemical weapons on their own people. There's zero evidence of that. In fact, there's more evidence that the FSA is using chemical weapons on the people of Syria. So instead of a foreign-funded, foreign-armed, fake rebel group trying to control Syria, it's better if the Syrian people themselves rise up and decide the future of their country. I want to thank you for being so brave to stand up and say to all your fellow Japanese citizens that your government should not support America and their imperial war against Syria. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Just a quick bid. Just wanted to show you something. That's what I've been working on. Check it out. T-shirt. All by hand. What do you think? Hey, brothers and sisters. Um, yesterday, you guys saw the back of the T-shirt that I made for our No War, Not In My Name. Here's the front of it. Got the U.S. flag inverted. Because right now, this is a time of distress. Hope you guys like it. Much love and peace.